Welcome to New World Math. I'm Jeff Jacobson, and today we're going to learn one way to organize your data a little more visually, and that is to use a stem and leaf plot. Let's get started. Okay, example one, make a stem and leaf plot of the length of 12 cell phone calls, and that's length in minutes. Here's our data over here. Uh, to make the stem and leaf plot, I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. And the first step, as always, when we have data, first step is to order. Order the data. Okay, I've got my data in order. I'm just going to double check real quick to make sure I didn't forget any values. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There were 12 cell phone calls, so I'm good. Uh, now, step two, make the stem and leaf plot. And to do that, we start off with a cross. Okay, something like that. Uh, on the left, top left, you're going to write stem. That's where the stem goes. So naturally, on the right is where the leaf is. Okay. Now, from here, you have to decide what your stem is going to be. And if I look at my data, I go all the way from 2 to 55. With that kind of range, I'm going to go by tens for my leaf. So first, well, 2, 3, 5, 6, what do they have in the tens place? Well, it's not there, but you can put a zero there, right? So that's a zero in the tens place. Then I go all the way up 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, okay? 55 was my last my last value that's the highest value there's a five in the tens place so I can stop there there's nothing there were no phone calls that were 60 minutes and something uh, notice I didn't skip any any numbers when you're making your stem and leaf plot whatever you decide for your stems you cannot skip any values okay so I can't go one two three and then four five six even it doesn't matter if there's any values on that stem it doesn't matter. You can't skip anything. You got to go directly in order until you're finished, wherever you need to stop at the end. Okay? So that's my stem. Now, this represents the tens place here. The leaf is representing my ones place. So look at your values. Well, for the values that have a zero in the tens place, I have a two, three, five, and six. So we put those in order here two, three, five, six. Okay, just like that. Next, well, what values have a 1 in the tens place? Well, I've got the 10, 14, and the 18. So now I'm writing the 1's value here for the leaf. So I've got 0, 4, and 8. 0, 4, 8. And we keep doing that. Well, I've got two 23's, so that would be 3, 3. 30 is, there is a 30, so I'm going to put a 0 there. That represents 30. Uh, I also have a 36, so I put a 6. Notice, there is no numbers in the 40s. Okay, So do I put a 0 there or leave it blank? Well, if you said leave it blank, you're right. If I put a 0 there, that would mean a phone call of 40 minutes, just like this 0 here represented 30-minute phone call. But I don't have any phone calls in the 40s, so I leave it blank. Go to the last one, 5, so I'm going to put a 5 there. So this is my stem and leaf plot. We're almost done. Now step 3, really, really important not to forget this, is to make a key. Okay, And the key is really, really important. Basically, all you do is you pick any example here for any value. Uh, I'm going to put the key over here. Hopefully you can see that okay. Yeah. So the key, let's say I'm going to do this. Two, three like that. So a stem of two and a leaf of three. That means 23. Okay. Uh, I guess I should put minutes too. I don't really have room, but 23 minutes. Okay. So that's my key. You can box it if you want or you don't need to. But the whole point is give an example from your data. Okay, so that we know exactly what uh, the stem represents. 
uh, and the leaf as well. Okay, good. Here's one to try on your own. Okay, example two, we've got three different questions. Notice we already have the stem and leaf plot over here. Um, so instead of making it, now we're interpreting uh, a stem and leaf plot. Uh, so let's just look over this real quick. Uh, the data is about test scores and points, how many points they got on a test score. Notice our key here, uh, nine for our stem and two for our leaf means that represents a 92 for 92 points uh, on the test. Uh, so let's look here. First one, how many students scored less than 80 points? Well, all of these here are in the 80 point range. Less than that, well, that would be a 78, 77, 75, 70, 66. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Five students scored less than 80 points. Okay. Next one, B, how many students scored at least 90 points? At least, that means 90 points or greater. So let's see. This zero here, that's 90 exactly. So there's one, two, three, and one, per one person got 100 points. So that's four. Four students got at least 90 points. And the last one, how are the data distributed? So that just means uh, what's kind of the shape or how is it spread out? Um, so if you notice, we have kind of a few just kind of one student who was pretty low, one student who was really high, everybody else is kind of in the middle, right? So let's say that. How are the data distributed? Most students were in the middle, and we could say around, uh, we could say around 80. Probably the exact middle, maybe around 80, 84 points. Whoops. Around 84 points. Okay. Now, one, one last thing. You'll notice with the stem and leaf plot, when I did the example before, I put commas. You don't need to do that. I probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, notice here, all you need to really do is just list the numbers for the, for the leaf. So don't worry about doing commas. And also, if you're wondering, well, can we use this? For decimals like what if my data is decimals and yes you can and what it's going to look like let's say you've got 6.7 9.2 and so on well you can make it where this line represents the decimal point so I could do something like six seven eight nine here I put a seven there a two here and then your key would be like Right, six, that line seven equals 6.7, okay? That's why the key is so important so that we know exactly uh, what it's representing, okay? Here's one more to try on your own. Thank you so much for watching and if you like this video, please subscribe.